my dear viewers welcome to this coffee cup reading this coffee cup is for all aries and it's for november 2023 and onwards i hope you'll enjoy it it's um all about everything that you need to know and maybe even things that you don't know um that you know you are going to be guided in this and everything so much information i can see your cup as you can see my dear viewers it's just incredible again this reading is for all aries and for november 2023 welcome everyone welcome my dear viewers and let us have a look at your cup my goodness there's so much going on wow okay let me begin now my dear viewers of course be mindful for those of you who are um, new to the channel i always connect with your guardian angels prior to doing the coffee cup and then write down everything that's given to me on a piece of paper and deliver it to you right at the end of this reading so stay tuned for that now glasses on and let's see what is this right here at the beginning it's very bizarre what are they trying to tell me somebody's clinging on to something like holding on to it so tight and It's like you're holding on to something so tight that you're not letting the energy to flow. Maybe in fear of losing this situation or this person. You're clinging on too tightly. Maybe to things in general or people around you or things maybe. And you know what? I guess, you know, it's miraculous what I'm seeing here. It looks to me like the reason you're holding on so tight is maybe because your soul knows that something is going to happen. You might be losing someone. It looks to me like, let me just, yeah, it looks to me like you're holding on so tight. I'll just move this paper away. Okay. You're holding on so tight to the point where You're not letting um you're not letting time this is because deep inside because what, what's amazing is when you're holding tight to this situation could be a few things or people or, or or situations you're doing it unknowingly like why you're doing it but later you'll understand why i see a scythe and a scythe is never a good sign Scythe, um, for those of you who want to look it up, it's S, C for cat, Y for yellow, T for Tom, H, E, Scythe. It's the one that, it's that, uh, it's a tool that people slash the, um, they slash, uh, not gardens, but farms with, you know, hay with. It's that tool. Now, a scythe. something suddenly happens something unexpected happens I, unfortunately in some cases it can be an accident it can be an accident it can be a, a release of some sort of liberation somebody's being liberated it is going to be surprising it is going to be unexpected and that is why your soul sort of knows it and it keeps holding on to things like tight and not wanting to let go. But you don't know why. Why you're becoming so maybe afraid of losing someone or something. It looks to me like you are bombarded with so much information or frequencies that are not letting you... Um, they're draining your forces. It's as though you're not getting enough, not sleep, maybe not getting enough rest. Maybe you're drained. You need to reconnect, reconnect with earth, with nature. You need to take periodical breaks away from electronics or what you're doing to re, to re energize yourself. But through walking outside in the garden, maybe just a little bit, just to be in nature and, and to breathe. Breathing, talking about breathing, um, very important here, breathing. 
you're, you're changing some patterns and you're moving on. But there is something happening within three. Three is connected to. So we got three months from now. January. Something's happening in January. It's connected to letter N. Really N, big N. N for Norway, N for no. But I do see also there is a vehicle or a motorcycle of some sort. It's as though there could be, maybe there could be an accident or something to do with a vehicle or motorcycle. But you are given the strength. I can see like you are given so much strength to move forward. You are bombarded with so much power from the universe to be able to handle this and to be able to move forward. There's so much compassion. In a strength given to you especially when there is a challenge so that you can control situations or how everybody, you know, to calm everyone around you. This could be something involving a family or distant family. Be patient and have patience. In this matter, you need patient, patience. Um, I feel like there are... Don't let other people's weaknesses become a problem to you. So you will get support and you're getting support from a female energy, very strong female energy, someone that might have even um, uh, water energy. It could be water or fire energy, either one. Water being Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, fire being like yourself, either Aries or Sagittarius or Leo. I do feel uh, that there is some sort of hostility that might take place also, some sort of deception that you might be going through, some of you. There's hostility or deception, but you're transcending from this and you're freeing yourself from this hostility or deception. Maybe it's for some of you, it could be to do with a situation or a partnership. Um, somebody's hurting you, maybe there's hurt. Um, I, I also feel like something might have happened around between July and September might have been painful gossip, maybe, um, you know, something that might have happened or might be, and it's ling like it's lingering, the problems are still lingering. And then finally, you know, you're sort of slowing down something or letting go of it or overcoming this challenge. You are very much, um, what's the word? you know, really into or rather obsessed with someone's looks, attraction, body, whatever, something like that. And it looks to me like, you know, it's become, it's going to become very challenging uh, for you to let go or for this person to let go of you because of something that's been hurt. There's hurt, there's pain, there's gossip, there might, there might be deception, there may be um, something that's coming out in the open. I see this is bringing you down, but you're moving on from this slowly. You will heal. Time will heal you. Steady progress is shown here, slowly and steady. There's good times coming, so things are going to get better for you, much better. Now, my dear viewers, as I was saying, things are coming slowly. Even money and money uh, matters things are becoming a bit more slower. It, it's like as though it's slowly, but the progress is long-term. That's, that's what I'm trying to say, even with the money it shows. So it looks to me like there is a little bit of sacrifice that you may need to make in order to complete a project or a situation. Now this, I'm just going to... Bear with me, these glasses really need a little bit of wiping. They're fogging up. I don't know why. It doesn't make sense. Just bear with me. Okay. That's a bit better. Oh, yes. Now, um, as I was saying here, there may be some contradictions that you're dealing with, but overall, it does look to me like the only peace of mind is when you make a decision in regard to 
sacrifice there is a need for sacrifice um there is a need to put your interest aside and do a little bit more for someone else that is what really is helping you move forward and and really be released from a major um expectation or a major project that you're doing there's something like that i feel like this year the year of the rabbit yes see this rabbit here the year of the rabbit is going to clarify things for you you are going to achieve success once you do sacrifice a little bit from your time maybe from your efforts yes from your time and effort i think and i feel like you are going to complete something uh, i see december here also very very clear something big is happening in december maybe a promotion or a recognition for a job well done but you are taking time out i feel like you're taking time out and healing You've got to see the bigger picture. You've got to look at the bigger picture. I feel like there's something big that you're not seeing. Something really needs your attention. Um, from this sector here, all the way to this section. It shows me from October all the way, from November, sorry, all the way to, to February. There's a lot happening in your life. You've got to see the bigger picture. You've got to understand uh, why there is conflict in regard to any sector of your life and even money if there is conflict there's something you're doing maybe you know and, and finally i feel like between november and february there's going to be a breakthrough there is a situation of uh maybe law or doing something uh defending yourself about something you might need you may need a lawyer but i do see transformations and changes taking place from uh november onwards november keeps coming up here P transformations and changes that are spectacular by the way so it's all good news you don't have to worry there's good news coming um, in regard to this okay now all right um i just wanted to see if this will help me in any way to bring things forward but no it's okay now i was talking about effort and your effort is needed especially when it comes to parental matters parents maybe or you being a parent or dealing with your own parents there is a situation uh, that your effort is needed success is there a hundred percent i see you leaving some of you are leaving now this leaving is a bit strange because it looks like some of you are leaving a place some of you are leaving a situation some of you could be leaving work and i see retirement for some if you're at that age of retirement, there's retirement. There's a new beginning, a beautiful new beginning. This new beginning brings you amazing uh, energy, really, really great energy, you know, that you can do anything. There's so much fertility, so much success, so much wonderful um, new beginning. It could be for families. It could be for a new way of looking at life. It could be... Um, you know, your personal power and intellect are so heightened that you can do anything and put your energy into a project or ignite something new, something wonderful you're doing. But there is a lot of success and great victory after overcoming a major challenge. Whether it was victory uh, over money problems, financial issues, problems, home uh, illness you're overcoming it all and there is a great victory waiting for you you are going to be feeling so proud of yourself of all everything that you have accomplished you're doing so well your guardian angels are here watching over you and you know they are really bringing balance into your life and they're also um helping you compromise to secure some sort of cooperation or some sort of deal or agreement something like that i see justice is going to prevail for you here i see the the scales on the hammer it shows action will be taken and it's going to be effective and i feel like you're moving forward from this situation i see like there are contracts legal disputes all this agreements uh moving towards you justice is going to be all for you for those of you who are um in battle or you know taking action there's going to be major effects in your favor you're indulging in your ambitions so much hard work and your cleverness is going to pay off big time you are going to shine i see that 
You know, it looks to me like the universe is showing me that you are a very beautiful soul. And sometimes you wonder, you know, um, or other people maybe are wondering, like, how is it that um, this beautiful person is so much into someone else? It's really bizarre <laughs> the way this looks. It's like somebody might be saying to you, you know, like, you are so beautiful. What is it that you're doing with me? Or you can have anybody or you have so many options. You know, there's something like that. Um, so you have so many choices. What are you doing um, with me? It could be something like that, or even it could be a business proposal or something. Somebody might think you are so incredible that what are you doing in this position? Come and work for me. It could be something like that, or let's work together. But there is a relationship, something to do with someone wanting, you know, to know if you think about them uh, long term. Do you want to have a future with them? This person is. Uh, very, very attractive person. This person could be fire energy, very strong. Sagittarius, Aries, Leo. My dear Aries, I think it's Sagittarius more than anything else. You need to take action to get results in regard to this situation. I feel like, um, you know, you might be open to new concept. They might be open to new concepts. So you, you need to compromise. I do see another person coming into the arena of your life or this person's life. It's an earth energy. Someone of earth energy, which is either Virgo, Taurus or Capricorn. I feel like they are, you know, someone very loyal. Someone very um, warm and very understanding. This is going to affect their life and your life together. So very interesting. It could be that this person will affect uh their life and that will be affecting you something like that i feel like some of you are considering um borrowing money or needing extra money and thinking of doing something in regard to a business of their own or something of their own or, or a uh, a decorative place like it looks to me even like a you know buying something like uh, a restaurant or a uh what's a reception there's decorations, you know, it could be a reception for weddings or something like that. It looks to me like there is some idea of uh, decoration and um, food related, perhaps, something like that. But you need more money for this. And I don't know whether you are going to be getting it. I, I, well, there you go. This is what I'm seeing. You, you are needing more money and money is coming in. It's coming at a perfect time when you need it. And this is going to give you the the foundation to achieve exactly that that you have dreamed about could be a gymnasium also these could be also a gym mm, they could be um, what is this let me just get it closer one second it could be equipment there could be equipment there could be tools um it could be anything but just the arch and and the balloons and 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 the food it looked like uh, to me like a reception but it could be even Possibly, you know, like um, a gymnasium. It could be, yeah, reception, a restaurant, a gymnasium, something like that. But what I'm seeing is that money, large amounts of it are coming. Uh, now, they may, you may be wanting to put part of this money into this business. You are considering it. I see contracts and agreements reached. So whatever is happening here is going to be spectacular for you. Um, you are going to have emotional fulfillment through this. Some of you could be getting married. That's another possibility. This could be a, a scene from, you know, like the altar where people get married and they put balloons and some people have their weddings in gardens and things. It could be a wedding also because I'm seeing a spiritual a relationship or or rather careers come to an end for some of you it could be a retirement saying goodbye and having a retirement party for, for others i feel it's a spiritual career where you were doing a a, a, a a chapter of your life has come to an end and you're starting new but uh, i also see fulfillment fulfillment and promise so it could also be connected to um you know engagement or getting married but certainly there's a lot of healing and there's a lot of fulfillment but I'm um, seeing relationship patterns uh, coming to 
realization that there is a need for change for others. So there could be changes that are changing relationships or uh, different kind of uh, partnerships. So what ultimately what matters, the real thing, the only thing that really matters is love. And I feel like you're shifting your focus back to love and you want to free yourself from something that's not working and move into something that is going to be uh, long-term maybe or deep. I see um, that you're spending quality time together with someone. You're listening and you're talking with each other. There could be someone new coming into your life or maybe your relationship with the current person is getting more deeper. But it is time for you now to take action because action really is needed uh, to express the way you feel. Action is demanded by the universe. Now it's time for you. It speaks louder than words, that's for sure. So uh, have a think about that. Now, my dear... Um, Aries, what I'm seeing here is incredible. I am seeing fire energy. A fire energy, very strong, like yourself. You could be dealing with someone like yourself, Aries, but I see one, two, three, triple Sagittarius. So there's Sagittarius here, very strong. And I saw Sagittarius before. I saw the Archer. So I'm seeing Sagittarius here, one, two, three. Three Sagittarius, wow. And there's two Aries. So the, the Aries, uh, the two Rams, could be your, this person might have a little bit of Aries within them, but Sagittarius has taken over. Now, I'm also seeing strong water energy, and what I'm seeing are two crabs, which is Cancer. Oh, one, two, two crabs, and two scorpions, and two sets of fish. I see, so they're all, uh, nothing is uh, more, but there is a lot of water energy, and I feel like this person might have double water energy. That's why the, everything is doubled. Now, so we have water and fire, which makes them very warm, very deep, and very loving, very giving. Uh, I also see earth energy here, which is spectacular because you need foundation. Even yourself, my dear Aries, with anyone that you're with, you need earth as your foundation to regenerate, to heal, to, to have, to grow and to thrive. And what I'm seeing here as earth energy, the strongest one is Virgo. I see double Virgo and I see one Taurus and one Capricorn, but double Virgo here, very, very strong. What's amazing is I'm seeing Gemini, hmm, air energy. Wow. Double Gemini, double Aquarius, no Libra. That's strange. No Libra? No. Two Gemini, two Aquarius. So this person's got air energy in them and they could be born because there's no Libra. They could be born either Gemini or Aquarius, like a Western sign. Sorry, this chair. Okay. Could have moved the camera a little bit. Okay. So uh, as I was saying, either they could be Aquarius or they could be Gemini with water energy and fire in them. What's important more than anything else that I'm seeing here is one glorious bear, <laughs> beautiful bear. Bear is all about hibernation, taking time out, uh, you know, spending quality time with someone. I also am seeing uh, buffalo, one, two, three, four buffalo. Chinese year of the ox is very strong in this cup, very, very strong. One, two, three, four buffaloes. There's a herd of them. Chinese year of the ox, buffalo, whether it's yourself or someone, somebody will impact your life who is born in the Chinese year of the ox or buffalo in November, something big. I also see there is Chinese year of the dog. There's one, two, three dogs, yeah. Two, is it two dogs actually? Two. Chinese year of the dog. I see the horses here, two horses, Chinese year of the horse. There could be love, two people are kissing. There could be kissing um, with the horse. I feel maybe Chinese ear of the horse or the cat. There's the rabbit here. Chinese ear of the rabbit. There's two of those two. So this could be either yourself or the person that you might be, um, you know, connecting with, needing to take action regard. Okay, I'm also seeing monkey, Chinese ear of the monkey, Chinese ear of the snake, uh, two of them. And uh, what is this at the end? I'll just have a look. Oh, yeah. And then there's one one yeah two snakes and then one dragon one goat and one rooster and one tiger uh, so they are impacting your life too that's why they're there even though there's one of them but they each like uh, the the majority and the strongest one that is going to impact the majority of aries is ox buffalo um, and then everything else has, has came along. But even there's one, they will impact your life in on a high scale. I see the sun shining in your path and bringing you a lot of changes, a lot of healing, a lot of radiance, and perhaps one or two wishes being granted. You're spending quality time. 
outdoors wanting to do something perhaps in water around water near water maybe you're going to a swimming or a spa or um, a sauna or something like that i just feel like there's uh, that personal kind of develop self-development or just having uh, a little bit of time out success is going to bring you freedom i see a lot of material comfort security protection wealth wealth on a high scale being really happy um wealth is even separating you from something it might be moving you away or getting your own place a little bit further from where you are but you are you know for those of you who have been spending too much time indoors you're trying to get out and do more there's a lot of pleasure coming in your life perhaps sensual pleasure um physical condition and health are booming blooming and there's a loving relationship here, a very nurturing, loving uh, relationship. And there's also um, abundance, abundance from all, from every area of your life. There's a lot of, um, what's the word? A lot of increase, like there's, uh, you know, a lot happening. Now, I've got to go into this and do this reading, uh, finish this reading, because I think I've taken too long. Okay, Ah. Uh, Oh, iron. I've got the first thing I was given was iron. Maybe you need to look into your iron and check your iron that you are eating um, enough, especially those of you who are vegans or, you know, plant based. Iron is very important. Um, so really look into it because that was the first thing iron was given to me. Something about candles. Candles are all about, you know, candlelight dinner candles are also you've got to be careful if you're using too much candles so that there won't be any problems because candles have been you know brought attention to candles candles can also mean that your path will be illuminated now agreements i did see a lot of handshakes here so there are agreement one agreement in particular has been mentioned here uh, someone's very attracted to you could be connected to that agreement okay some something about an aquarius Oh, wow, Aquarius saying goodbye. That's very bizarre. Um, okay, so I've got Aquarius. There were two Aquarius here. And saying goodbye. You may be saying goodbye to an Aquarius or an Aquarius could be saying goodbye to you. There was something suddenly happening and removing um, someone. Aquarius saying goodbye. That's shocking anyhow moving on freedom you can comment about this for those of you who can relate to this today like now let me know maybe this happens a bit later on because there is something big happening between november and january so anyhow freedom uh, something is false and you're realizing it it's not real and, and you're finally getting to know that it's false something about a hat or a cap uh security uniform maybe it's part of a security uniform where you may be you know seeing somebody wearing a hat or a cap or um you know or maybe you know you may be doing something security and part of the uniform is a hat or a cap um there's something saying enjoy it while it lasts so whatever it is it might be something that's coming to an end so it's saying enjoy it while it lasts it's letting you know it's it might be connected to loyalty someone loyal or something loyal or you've been loyal or they are someone loyal um, it is also connected to double goat, Chinese year of the goat. How shocking. I didn't get the goat here, but I was given two goats here. Chinese year of the goat. Wow. Twice. My dear viewers, that is massive. That is incredible. Now, as for letters and initials, we've got B for butterfly, Bernadette, Bumblebee, Bob, G for George, Georgia, Green, um, Grace, and Greg, I've got P for Pony, Poland, Patricia, Peter, R for Rome, Rose, um, Rebecca, Richard, and Ronnie. Whatever comes in my mind, I'm just calling it out. N for Nancy, Norway, Nick, Nicholas, Nicoletta, um, and F for France, Freedom, Frank, Fiona, Q for quail, quick, quickly, um, O for Olympics, Olive, 
Oliver, Odette, Y for Yasmin, Yasin, Jacob, um, uh, what else I can think of? <laughs> Yoke, Yellow. And um, that's all I've got. Now, um, I was given two numbers. The first one is number nine, which is connected to the Chinese year of the monkey or people that are born in September, which makes them either Virgo or Libra. Um, and the nine is all about challenge, one challenge that you have to overcome very soon. And I feel it's going to take nine weeks from uh, November, from November up to nine weeks for you to overcome this challenge. Once you do, you are going to go through a period of happiness and um, release and entertainment and, and treat yourself to uh, you know to to a lot of fun fun activities nine is also um the beginning of abundance and it's connected to the chinese year of the monkey and like i said from the time you see this coffee cup till about nine weeks a challenge will be um done then we've got number three number three is connected to the chinese year of the tiger it is all about um teamwork it's about education raising your education your skills increasing updating upgrading um, it is also about heightening your uh, teamwork working together with family it is connected to family connected to people born in march connected to march itself uh, by the way the nine is connected to september itself march uh, is of course a aries yourself and um taurus is the other one i think or pisces sorry pisces what am i saying pisces and aries people that are either pisces or aries like yourself uh, my dear aries so march is also could be just march itself it is going to take from this uh, time of the coffee up to three months a lot of elevation uh, in your uh, education in your spirituality in your physical uh, taking care of your health and physical um attributes and also it is about family and working in teams together and education higher education or elevating your skills doing short courses or um or even more so that is the end of your reading i do hope you enjoyed it let me know what you think give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed the reading and don't forget to um subscribe to the channel if you haven't it doesn't cost anything it's free and it helps me big time supports me a uh, big time don't forget to watch your general that helps you a lot to know what's going on and the star signs that we connect you can, we saw today in your general reading you'll get to know more about them and de more details as to who they are and then you can confirm and reaffirm and understand everything don't forget to watch your money reading because there's a lot of money coming wealth is coming so have a look at your money reading to that's more refined and direct and to the point and you'll understand where the money is coming from and timing or anything that's associated with it so um i do hope you enjoy this reading can't wait to hear your comments i wish you a lot of love and light Namaste.